Hi, there was a few things I forgot to mention on the previous update. I was so focused on random students that I forgot about adding custom students. And I'll also show you how to get to the phone. To open the phone, you press Z. The current PIN number on all phones is 1234. Then you can close and open the phone again to go to the lock screen or you can click on the back button. On the lock screen, it shows you the full date. The phone is just an item that your character can carry on the pocket inventory. You can press the H key to toggle the phone to your hand and drop it anywhere. Or you can pick it up and put it on your pocket inventory, just like any other item. By default, characters don't come with a phone, so pressing the key to open the phone won't do anything. So I've added now that if you press the phone key and you don't have a phone, it will show you a message. To add a new phone to the map, you can go on edit mode, then on scenario, objects and on items, and add a new phone somewhere. Then you can pick it up with your character. If the phone is off, you can turn it on by pressing F. Well, when you create a new character, if you want to make them a student, you go on edit mode. And on students, you select the class you want them in, and then you add them there. Now that the student has been added to a class, you set which seat you want them to go to. Then, so that the character actually goes to school by themselves, you need to tell them to go to school. To do this, you add them a schedule event. You go on edit mode and on schedules. Now we add a new daily event. We can name it anything we want. This name is just a note for us, it can be anything. Then we add a go to school action to it. And then we set the conditions of this event. It should not happen on Saturday or on Sunday. And the hour must be bigger or equal to 7.30. After all of this, we go to play as another character, and if it's after 7.30, the character will start going to school. It's now morning time. If we want to go to the afternoon time, we would have to wait a long time. So there must be some kind of way to pass time in-game faster. For now, there's two temporary debug keys. You can press 1 on the keyboard, to go to the next hour and you can press 2 on the keyboard to pass 1 minute.